Yo, what's good? I'm Nun Illa. This is Let's Talk Music. Today we're gonna talk about 10 things that'll make you a better artist. 10, not one, two, 10, right? First things first, read, read, read. Pick up a book. Reading is so fundamental. You can't be in an industry with words without learning words. You reading puts different thoughts in your head more than watching TV and some other things will. So make sure you pick up a book, read some articles, read a magazine, even in your craft. Just make sure you always have your brain processing more scenarios, information, more stories, more back end words so that your vocabulary is shifting around when you're in writing mode. That's the first thing. Two, study the greats. Study all the people who did this right. You know, whether you're watching documentaries, whether you're watching old TV shows, old performances, just pay attention to what made them great because you can figure out what you're lacking or what you need to do to become a better artist. You just watching anything by some people, a lot of times it's so inspirational, so motivational to the point to where it makes you want to get up and do something with your music. You know how many times I've watched something and just been like, wow. Whether it's about B.B. King, Michael Jackson, YouTube, Nas, um, Kurt Cobain. I can go on forever. I watch a lot of, I'm a documentary buff, so I watch a lot of documentaries. In fact, when you watch this, if you have questions on good documentaries, hit me up. You can shoot my at none underscore illa, comment on YouTube, when it goes to Facebook, Instagram, whatever, comment, hit me up, send me a message, email, it don't matter. If you need stuff, same with books. If you have questions, let me know, I got you. Three, dissect every song in your lane, in your genre. Dissect it. Figure out what makes it pop. If it's an R&B song, figure out if there's certain harmonies or certain melodies that really catch, or if a certain word usage. Figure out what makes it sound good to you and what makes it sound good to everyone else. Trust me, it'll make a difference in your process. Four, living your life. Go live. It's so much you can stress about that a lot of times that can block out your creativity. A lot of times it can just stop you from wanting to do things because you're stressing. Or it can actually, for some, they can use that as energy to write. But trust me, live your life. Live it. Experience it. Feel the pain. Feel the hurt. Feel the joy. Shed some tears. Go dance a little. Laugh. Live your life and watch how your pen transforms. Most people don't think about it, but be you, right? Trust me, it's going to make a difference when you write, when you're making music, and when you perform. In that studio, that is your escape. That is a time you buckle down, but every other moment, live your life. Number five, study other industries. You don't know how many times you can take game and flip it into the music industry. Whether you're watching marketing stuff, whether you're watching real estate, look at the NBA, look at the NFL, look at cooking shows, watch TV, look at entertainment as a whole. All of that, there's so many things you can take that'll make you think better. If you watch what Nike's doing on a commercial, you'd be like, I like that. Why don't you think about putting that in your next music video? If you see what they're doing on a TV show, you like, I like that. Why don't you think about writing or flipping something that way? You see someone doing in poetry, you're like, oh, that's kind of dope. Well, what's stopping you from getting inspired and putting that into your art? Look at what's around you on a constant basis and use that as things to help inspire your creativity. Six, the urge to study or learn. All five things I just listed all have to do with studying and learning subconsciously, right? You need to have the urge to care enough to soak it in and retain some of the information. 
If you go to a park and you, this is a moment when you enjoy your life. Let's say you, I'm going to put two things in here. Let's say you went to the park to read, right? You go to the park to read. You put your book down. You enjoy your life. And you notice that there's a cat attacking a bird. Watch that situation. It may be something so subtle, but you looking at a predator go after prey. Use the connection. Use the logic. You read a book. You see something a philosopher say. Get that urge, that burning desire to learn. That will make you a sponge to everything around you because everything in a metaphorical sense is deeper. And that depth can make you a better artist. Seven, disciplinary behavior. Whether it's working out. Whether it's the gym, whether it's being hard on your routines, all that makes you a better artist. A lot of it even has to do with breath control. Go into the gym, perform in front of the mirror, watch that make you a better artist. If you have a routine, getting up for school, going and doing homework a certain hour, that makes you a better artist. Discipline makes you more precise when you need to execute. If you know you need to write two songs before you end the day, and you have the discipline, you're gonna write those two songs. They may not be the greatest songs, but you have a consistent pattern. You tell yourself, I'm gonna do this. The disciplinary behavior that you do outside of music will cause you to buckle down when it's time to work on your music. Art, other creatives, be around it. Go to a museum, watch some music videos, watch how other people get into creative zones. You know how inspiring it is to be an artist writing thinking of music and then you're around a producer who's going in even if that's not your beat or around a guitarist who's going in on a guitar it is so inspiring for you to be around it because it motivates you to dig into your art watch them get into the zone because some people tap into their zones different way watch how their ways influence ways that can maximize your talent and then bam you just figured out another avenue so Make it a way to always be around artistic things, other creatives that'll venture and help you out a lot as well. Number nine, your outside support system, outside of the music. Not just the people who push your music dream, the people who are interested in what you have going on, the people who go, okay, well, that's dope. Like, why are you doing this? That why is such a big factor. Figure out what other people have going outside too. Support them. Supporting them will help it all push you and motivate you to go further. It's a big deal for support systems to happen accordingly. So make sure it's mutual. Because making sure it's mutual makes sure that you always get a good end of the stick. Trust me, it's going to make the biggest difference. Another thing is to add to the support system is their lives. The lives that they have going on makes a big difference too. So if you have people around you who are always positive, always have good things going on, guess what? That energy is going to seep into you and your dream. If you have someone who's around you negative and always complaining and hates the industry and hates whatever you have going on, guess what? Same thing. It'll milk and drain out of you. So be careful for that same reason and, and push that to do what you can to grow outside of that but just pay attention to who's around you, what they have going on as well, how you contribute and how you take away from it. All right, because that'll help you out. For number 10, one of the most obvious ones are current events. Depending on where you are, you may experience something, you know, like I'm sure the writers who were in New York right after 9-11 were tragically inspired, but it, you know, it, it, it just woke them up. Um, for a lot of the people who deal with dealing with the politics and dealing with racism. A lot of these things going on with the current president and things going on that happen in the South, that's a big motivator for their music, you know? So whatever's going on currently from some of the tragedies to some of the inspirational stuff to so many people rap around sports. So you can imagine the LeBron to LA situation, like make sure that inspires you, but key ingredient here, but don't wrap your music around that current event. Don't date your music. Don't make it to where your music is dated by a reference point because you might make a reference to something that happened in March and then I'll release that song till like October. You're dated. So if you're going to reference something, even if you reference like a basketball player, 
make it a classical reference because that way it was already done before you said it so it adds historic value and that makes that peaceless time makes that peace timeless my bad anyway you get what it is comment like subscribe we're gonna share this one and i'm out